Chess friends, how are you? Hope you are good and today I will show you the immortal and brilliant queen sacrifice that makes history in chess, look at this queen sacrifice, that's totally amazing queen sacrifice by Frank Marshall, and this is your today's puzzle, 100 IQ chess puzzle, slow it and comment me, so let's go, Stefan started with d4, we have e6 French defense, e4 by Stefan and we have d5 knight to c3 and Frank played c5, I don't like it but it is called martial variation. Now white can take the d-pawn, let me show you the variation, then after pawn takes there is bishop to b5 check to the king, bishop blocks queen e2 check bishop blocks again, look how the bishops are becoming passive by protecting king, we will see knight takes pawn and this is coming, the bishop is also coming to seize the diagonal, and if you try to do bishop exchange with your bishop then queen takes bishop check will come and knight blocks. Queen takes pawn and the position is getting bad by playing each move, so back to the position we have knight f3 instead of taking the c-pawn, you can play c takes d4 or you can push the pawn, but Marshall chooses to play knight c6, after doing pawn exchange on the center square, we have bishop to e2 by Stefan but best was to play bishop b5 to touch the horsey, let me show you the variation, if bishop here happen then knight f6, we will play just simple developing moves, look. How these bishops are pinning the knight, castle then knight will take the d5 pawn, but there is a brilliant move bishop takes h2, after knight captures bishop we will take back our material and you may say the bishop can take the knight and double up my f pawns, but there is a good strategy for you, king here then bring your rook to line up on there, the queen can also come to the g5 square to pressure the king, light bishop will come to add troubles, but in our actual game, we do see here bishop d2. Ok knight f6 castle bishop e7 bishop g5, castle and white takes the pawn and the d5 pawn gets unguarded, he have no side brothers on the or c file to protect him so frank protects it with bishop e6, but according to me best was to take the pawn now white can move back his bishop to protect it, but we do see here knight to d4, very surprising move, instead of bishop e3 to protect it, so frank takes the pawn on c5, knight takes and pawn takes e6. This knight move open ups the file for the f8 rook and his brother is on there to help him in any future attacks on there, we have bishop to g4, queen on d6, Frank Marshall's plan is to play queen e5 to target it then after takes takes, double up the rooks on the f file to attack on the f2 pawn with full power, so bishop on h3 rook slides on e8 queen up to d2 to link the rooks and prepare for rook d1, bishop b4 and bishop, takes rook takes bishop rook here queen here queen on e2. He is threatening to take the pawn, if you play 200 LO move for example a6 then knight takes d5 will come, pawn can't take it because of this, so after rook h6 knight c7 rook to c8 then bishop takes check will be a killer move, after king slides you will lose the rook and the game, so, in this position, Frank exchanged his bishop with the knight, pawn takes bishop queen takes pawn, and here, Stefan sacrificed his rook, you cannot take it because of this, you will lose your rook, if the queen takes rook really happen then you have to block it with your rook then bishop check will come, king slides then queen takes rook will be checkmate. But you know what, not every rook sacrifice will work, don't believe Gotham, there is knight to d4, to target the queen, Stefan played blunder move queen to h5, instead of playing queen to e4 which was the best move, let me show you the variation, if queen e4 happen then there is real rook sacrifice by playing rook f4, this targets the queen and if you take the rook, then there is knight e2 check, king h1 then knight takes queen, black will be material up and he will be totally winning with the queen, so. Back to the position, Stefan played queen h5 by peeing in his pant because he comes to know that Frank was a stockfish lover, and chess friends, if you to get more episodes then you can like and subscribe to my youtube channel, you will be incredible, here Frank played rook f8, rook to e5, black could play rook takes pawn, let me show you the variation, if it happen then after rook takes rook, queen a1 check will come, then rook blocks, then queen takes rook which is called checkmate. So back to the position, we have another move rook to h6 to get the h file, queen here and Frank sacrificed his rook again, what a beautiful rook sacrifice, if you dare to take the rook with your pawn, let me show you, then knight check will come to fork the queen, it will be the total devastating for white, black have a queen and he will be win the game after 2 seconds, 
So back to the position, Stefan says, I am a stockfish subscriber also, let me sacrifice my rook with a brilliant move. He is trying to deflecting the queen, so chess friends, it is the best time for you to pause the video and make a brilliant move for Frank, make a brilliant move and prove me that, you are a stockfish subscriber, ok if you found queen to be 4, then congratulation, you are successfully, worn, it will not bring anything else, rook will come to checkmate you with the queen, so, back to the position, if you find queen to a3. I mean queen g3, oh my god, first human on this planet made a god level brilliant move, don't be jealous if you could not found this move, subscribe the channel so you can find brilliant moves, the queen can be taken by the two pawns, or the queen, let me show you one by one, if f takes g3 happen then knight to e2 check, king can't go there because this file is seized so after king h1, rook takes rook will be a checkmate, so back to the position, in this position, if you think h takes g3, let me show you then knight e2 check will come, you cannot stop the knight and this file is covered by the rook which will be a checkmate so back to the position, if you play queen takes g3 then knight e2 check will come, king here then knight takes g3, this pawn can't take it because there is rook takes f1, which will lead a back rank checkmate, the h pawn is also can't take it because it's pinned to the king, so after king here, knight e2 check, king here, rook c3, and after rook exchange with knight takes rook. Black is up a piece for the end game and he is totally winning, so wish you all the best, thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.